Okay, thanks for being here. Uh, the Australian Test Squad for the Domain Test Series against New Zealand is as follows. Uh, Tim Payne, Captain, Joe Burns, Pat Cummins, one of our Vice Captains, uh, Josh Hazelwood, Travis Head, Manus Labuschagne, or Travis Head's one of our Vice Captains as well, of course, so the leadership doesn't change. Um, Nathan Lyon, Michael Nessa, James Pattinson, Steve Smith, Mitchell Stark, Matthew Wade and David Warner. Uh, happy to answer any questions if you have them. Confident in Mitch's body, Trevor? Mitch? Yeah. Mitchell Stark? Yeah, yeah Mitch, Mitch, Mitchell Stark's going quite well. Uh, it's, it's not an issue of his ankle. Um, my understanding is he took some skin off one of his big toes, so he'll be fine. Uh, what's the thinking around Cameron Bancroft? Uh, regarding his omission, yeah. I, I presume. Uh, we've cut the squad from 14 to 13. We're very comfortable, of course, with our batting lineup at the moment. They're functioning quite well. So we don't see it necessary to have a, a batsman as cover in the squad at the moment. Uh, of course, uh, as I've suggested in, in the release, we do reserve the right to add a player, if necessary, throughout this series. Um, Tim Payne was saying last night the bump he got on his finger is actually different to the, um, you know, to the injury he's carried for a lot of his career. Is there any concern over him at all? Um, no, not at the moment. We checked that, of course, last night. Um, not at the moment. Tim's a tough guy, of course, and most wicket keepers are, so they give you very little. But uh, at the moment, there's no cause of, for concern uh, over Tim's fitness. Trevor, are you happy, I guess, with the situation that if there's a concussion problem, you'll be able to get someone there quickly as a, as a backup batsman? Yeah, th there's no, no doubt about that one. Uh, there's a Sheffield Shield game, I think, uh, or Sheffield Shield round finishing uh, the day or two days before the test match starts in Perth. So if we, we have that situation, we're very comfortable that we'll have players available uh, and available to come in uh, pretty quickly. Has it ever been easier to pick a squad? It's very nice and it's nice to have a few, or well, a couple of very, very good wins and it's, uh, it's been quite relaxing, to be honest. Is there a chance you'll bring the spinner in for Sydney? Uh, there, there is that opportunity, or not so much opportunity, but uh, there is a chance we, we'll have to have a look at the... Uh, the pitch we, we may receive in Sydney, um, we'll be having a look at that in due course over the next couple of weeks. Are there any names at the forefront of, of being a second spinner or is that still a bit of an issue now and really stepping up? It, it is a bit of an issue for us, but we're, we're uh, really focusing on, on our spin bowling department at, at the moment. Uh, we will be putting a couple of players who I won't nominate now because they haven't been informed. Um, uh, we will be putting a couple of spinners on notice to make sure they're doing extra work in case they're required uh, because as you know, we're going into a big bash uh, period of time, so we'll want uh, anybody nominated to be doing extra work throughout the big bash series. The three players who've taken a break for personal reasons, are they now available again? Uh, that's, a, that's a difficult question for me to answer. You know, that comes uh, from the psychologists attached to Cricket Australia, so we obviously do checks on, on those sort of guys from time to time. Uh, two of them, as we know, have played uh, Sheffield Shield cricket. That does not necessarily mean they're available for uh, uh, representation of Australia. Were they available? Or, or? Uh, at, for this selection? Yeah. Um, once again, difficult one. We, we did, do our, did do our checks. Uh, I can't really answer that right now. Trevor, with um, Mitchell Marsh, he had his hand injury from the start of the summer. Have you got an update about how he's tracking and do you think he, he, you, if you needed an all-rounder in Melbourne or Sydney, would you expect he'd be available? That's pretty doubtful at the moment. Um, the latest info we have on him was his hand was out of a splint or coming out of a splint very, very soon. Uh, he was yet to do any hitting with a bat, uh, so he'll be monitored over the next couple of weeks. Who's, a, who's an all-round option for Melbourne Sydney if you need one? Not yeah, well, they're, they're thin on the ground probably as, as well, you know, without um, disrespecting anybody. Of course, there's Mitchell Marsh, um, the, the, there's Marcus Stoinis, of course, there's young Cameron Green, who's probably not ready yet either. He's, he's not uh, able to bowl too much, but he's, he's a very good young up-and-coming player. So uh, we'd have to have a, have a look at that, whether we require an all-rounder, and, and we'd only require one if we were going to play two specialist spinners in Sydney. Ricky um, Ponning floated the idea of Cameron Green coming into the fold as a yeah. bit of a learning experience. Yeah. Was that discussed at all? And you know, how, how far away do you think he, he would be? Yeah, Cameron Green has certainly been discussed by us, but uh, at the moment, as I suggested, he's not he's not bowling. Um, he'll be having a, uh, a scan on his back, I think, this week to see whether he can 
start to bowl again. And, and once that happens, we'll obviously keep a good eye on him because he's a, a fine up, up and coming player. Do you, do you see him as having bowled, I think, in a one day in the last month? Would, will you release him to play in that shield round? Yes, he will be. So, so basically, he's, he's a reserve bowler still. Isn't yep. Yep, definitely at the moment, and he'll be going away to play that Sheffield Shield game and joining the squad in Perth after the Sheffield Shield game's finished. Jones will be joining the squad in, in Perth. He probably won't play the Sheffield Shield game. He's He was sent away to play the current game, that, well, not the current game, the game that's just been completed for Victoria and bowled quite a few overs, so he's had some game time. Trevor, just following up on Pete's question, you know, is this the quickest selection meeting you've had, I guess, as far as picking a squad goes in the last year? Yeah, it was it was reasonably quick, but it, you know, there's lots of things to discuss. Of, of course, you know, we we don't just pick it for now. We we obviously took into account what may happen in Melbourne and may happen in Sydney. So they're never fast, but uh, they're always good discussions. Trevor, just with Cam, Cameron Green, um, <coughs> all rounders are obviously very you know, hard to come by. Mm. Um, obviously, his body's not quite right yet. But do you see a player who's with his performances is would be ready at 20 years old for a you know for a call up when, when his body issues are, are right. Yeah, I, I always say um, if they're good enough, they're old enough. So I, I don't have an issue with, with his age. It's it's more about whether his body can cope and what he can do bowling, particularly in the all rounder category. We know he's a very good bat. So uh, he, as I suggested before, is a fine upcoming young player. George Bailey's obviously joined the selection panel, Trevor. What do you hope he brings? George hasn't joined us yet. Um, he, George will be playing the Big Bash competition and then, then joining us after that is completed. Uh, George is a highly regarded player and a high, highly regarded person, so he'll have the respect of everybody once he joins us. And uh, he's, a, he's got a very, very good cricket brain uh, and, as I say, highly respected. Could it be something like this, that's in the lap of the gods, that one, John. But, <laughs> but, but, but yes, of course, you know, any, anyone can be uh, who's on the selection panel. Trevor, could something like this have happened a little earlier with a, a former player or someone you know, soon out of cricket joining the panel? Yeah, well, it, it's an interesting one, that one. There, there's always been a little bit of resistance uh, to that sort of thing, but I don't certainly have a problem with it. And I, obviously, Cricket Australia don't either at, at the moment. And George is the right type of person that can handle that anyway. Trevor, does the proximity of the Melbourne and Sydney test mean probably like take a Ashes style approach to the fast bowlers and Possibly. That, that's the only only um, two test matches this summer that are very, very close together. So we'll obviously be very careful about that and monitoring the, the bowlers workloads, etc, etc. Is there any concern about Trevor Travis being Not really. Travis was in reasonable form when we chose the side. It's just unfortunately he hasn't had a lot of time in the middle. He had a, had a bat in Brisbane, of course. and and uh, didn't get to have a hit here in Adelaide, so it's a bit difficult, but uh, Travis fine, he's, he's going well. Uh, what about Alex Carey, a big hundred in the shield? I mean, if Tim does go down, clearly he's proven that he's, he's got what he, what he needs. Yeah, once again, I, I think we've shown a hand there with, with Alex. Um, OK, he's playing the, the short form of the game for us. Uh, he's a vice-captain for us. We, uh, we obviously have high regard for him.